I just saw the police pull up. I hope they're not going to bother him because, you know, <laughs> well, he doesn't. Do so, yeah, uh, the police are currently trying to talk with David. <laughs> David just came over here, parked in front of this house, and came up and said, there's police there. I'm like, yeah, I see them. <laughs> they're trying to get inside your room. Just go talk to them and just, you know, have something to take with you to that courtroom. But uh, actually, he just got back in his car and drove away. He doesn't want to deal with it. I think he would be better off dealing with it and just letting the police know that he's done nothing wrong to warrant any visit from them, much less a restraining order. So I, I can't, you know, help him. He's got to stand up on his own two feet, too. <sighs> yeah, you know, at this point, <laughs> I just, I feel like I need to help this guy. I do. Uh, I'm not sure how I can help him. But I feel that due to my history with her, and since it's the same situation where she is claiming somebody did something to her that they obviously did not do, um, I feel like I should give them a little direction, if nothing else. I, I don't know what I can do to help them. But I am going to call the DA tomorrow and explain to him or her what is going on and, you know, use my my court case as a reference and hopefully maybe that'll make them open their eyes and say well maybe we don't need to give this guy a restraining order I don't know I you know he he wouldn't talk to the police while they were there <laughs> so uh, I, I think he needs to be able to at least confront with the situation because I think if the police were to have seen him they would realize he is not a threat on any level to her she, you know, she's like the ringmaster in the circus, really, truly, because dee, 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 dee. she's got people jumping through hoops left and right to make her happy for her entertainment. Not because there's really any emergency, any trauma, any disaster. She just likes to watch people stress out over what she's telling people to do. And she can lie just you know and look you straight in the face and tell a lie and people are like oh we feel so sorry for you okay and they'll do whatever they can to make her happy like I said I, <laughs> I, she's evil pure fucking evil okay but the fact that she enjoys stressing people out, the fact that she enjoys making them jump through hoops, the fact that she enjoys watching everybody panic. If this man has a health issue, a heart attack, or anything due to what's happening with the police right now, the restraining order in the courthouse, mm. <laughs> like I said, I just, I, I'm worried about him. I am, because he really, truly is not the healthiest I don't think he can handle this fight. And I think, for some reason, it, I need to help him. So, hopefully I'll be able to help him in some way. That's all I know. Hopefully I'll be able to help him. Mm, okay, so we're coming up on December 1st, uh, in a few more hours. <laughs> and uh, poor David, who's going to have to keep dealing with my crazy neighbor. But hopefully, myself, I won't have to be dealing with her past December 27th. That's 27 days left of her being my neighbor, supposedly, if all goes well, right? I mean, the closing date is December the 27th, last I've heard. So hopefully that means she's going to be gone. And after that, I don't have to even be concerned about her. <laughs> And uh, the lien that I have on our house will be paid off. And so I don't have to communicate with her for any reason. But, uh, you know, I kept saying, hopefully after she gets tired of bugging me, she's going to go after somebody else. And apparently, yeah, she's going after this poor tenant of hers who just happened to answer the ad she had in the acorn, seeking a tenant. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. She's charging him $800 a month to live 
in that little just mm. and he, yeah he I guess he as he put it she started freaking out when he asked for a smoke detector in his room <laughs> and he, he, when he confronted her about the fact that she was in his room when he wasn't there because she went in there and took an extension cord and the Roku thing I, anyway yeah I, I can't let myself get that involved in what's happening between her and him. But I do feel if there's any way I can help him with that restraining order that he just entailed, I'm going to try and help him. But, you know, two steps shy of having to go into a courtroom. <laughs> so I'm, hopefully I can do whatever help via the telephone. I hope. I don't know. I just know he doesn't deserve it. And... Uh, in 27 more days, if all goes well, she's going to be gone. If all goes well. <laughs> right. To stay until I'm served. I'd love to spend the night there. I mean, I, I'm in the back. It's a, a room in the back. It's a, a, my own entrance to the place in the back. And... I have no, I've never done anything to harm my landlord or anything. I've not done anything. And she's done this for the other children or dependent adult abuse restrainer. Right. This needs to be resolved if you if Quit they found up, Billy, yeah. Was, yeah so. Currently waiting on the PD to arrive so that David can get inside his room and get some of his clothing. <sighs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's wet out there. It's raining. Yes, the police are here, and he went over and spoke with Miss Crow Snow, and uh, I stood outside with David while we were waiting for his ability to be, I guess, taken into his room. I don't know if he gets to stay the night. Hopefully he does, because, you know, he hasn't actually been evicted yet, but... Uh, Hopefully he gets to stay there, because really it's a cold, rainy night right Okay, now. it looks like David's in his room at this point with the police. Don't know for sure. I didn't turn on the camera until just now to see what was happening, so... Yeah. Okay, there's the police. Oh no, that's David, so it looks like he has to leave. Oh my, they're making him leave. Take his clothes and leave. He's not going to get to spend the night there. That's not good. <sighs> Poor guy. Okay, he just pulls away. All right, still got one officer hanging out, I guess, writing the report. Hopefully, I can get in touch with David and let him know to get a copy of that police report. Because he's going to need it to take with him into that courtroom. He really will. It'll come in handy. Also, it's important to note that even though he should be able to just stay the night there, it really is actually probably to his benefit to leave. Because knowing her personality, she could claim anything happened while he was there, right? And then that would just add more problems. So him not being there, she can't claim he's done anything. And you know, when the police arrived, I had to make sure they knew that this wasn't about me, right, <laughs> and my battle with her, because I've definitely had my fight with my next-door neighbor, but this is not my fight to fight. No, this is, unfortunately, his fight to fight, and I hope he prevails, and, uh, yeah, I hope he sues her after he prevails, because he is being put through a lot of stress, and uh, he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't. If I thought he did, I definitely would not be helping him out on any level, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no. But I, I did. I had to at least let him come inside the house to make the phone call. It's pouring rain outside, and uh, it's cold. And so, yeah, I let him sit in the kitchen, and we chatted a little bit, waiting for the police to arrive. But really... It's amazing that my neighbor is able to just manipulate so many people, make them jump through so many hoops, just for her entertainment. 
Man, I hope I never get that board. Okay, so it has now been 24 hours since the police escorted David off of the property with his bags of clothing. And uh, it's been a very rainy day, so I do hope that he has found a place to sleep. I hope you went to the police department today and got that police report regarding last night. And I'm thinking if he's smart, <laughs> maybe he can go to the courthouse on Monday and file his own restraining order and ask to speak with the judge regarding the restraining order that's against him. Have a private with the judge. And maybe that'll help get the upcoming date removed. I don't know. But it would definitely be to his benefit, I believe, to go get a restraining order against her. Because clearly, if there's any elder abuse going on, it's her <laughs> that's doing the abusing. Ah, so now, I guess... Just got to wait and find out if he ends up going to the court or not. And, you know, nothing prevents her from going into that court herself and saying, I I've changed my mind. I don't need that restraining order. But clearly that ain't going to happen. <laughs> but, yeah, hopefully he can somehow get a restraining order against her.